She wore the white as they landed in Dar es Salaam. Don't make the mistake of thinking that's trivial. China's new first lady, Peng Li Yuan, traveling with her husband, President Xi Jinping, is being set up as an emblem of the new China. Cool, fashionable, modern, successful. Today, Tanzania, tomorrow, South Africa, where, as the Eurozone falters and the American economy struggles, the Chinese leader will meet other emerging economy leaders to work on an alternative to the IMF and World Bank. Power is shifting east. On Friday, China's first couple went to Moscow. Now, what brand is that bag? You may not care, but 8 million Chinese did. By today, they had searched her name and handbag to establish that it's a Chinese company called Exception, based in Guangdong. Chinese fashion websites were full of it. The share price rose, and a Chinese brand started to go global. The catwalk at Beijing Fashion Week. No longer is it all foreign brands and Chinese manufacture. The emphasis now is on Chinese design. This fashion week aims to encourage domestic brands and designers to get onto the international stage. We're trying to train more people and boost the fashion industry. We hope to make China International Fashion Week the next Milan or Paris. Last time China had a glamorous first lady was in the 60s, when film star Jiang Qing married Chairman Mao. She ended up in the dock, one of the gang of four who fermented the mayhem and murder of the Cultural Revolution. The wives of the leaders who followed were told to dress inconspicuously and stay in the background. Before marrying Xi Jinping, Peng Li Yuan was a famous singer and major general in the People's Liberation Army, popular in her own right. She's still serving the Chinese Communist Party, projecting a new image of China, elegant, wealthy, and increasingly influential across the globe.